Good morning. Welcome to St. Mark Family Youth and Children Time. Oh, it's so nice to see you back. Today, we're going to hear a story about Jesus and two of his friends, James and John. They wanted to be important, but Jesus taught them something very special about how we should treat others. Say, do you treat others kindly? Yes, I think so. I try to be nice to my friends. What about those who are not your friends? Oh, I try to be nice to them too. Do you like to help others? Yes, I like helping especially when I get to do special jobs. So what kind of things do you do to help others at home or at school? I help my mom set the table. At school, I share my toys and help at cleanup time. I really like it when I get to deliver a note to another class. Wow. It sounds like you do treat others kindly and you help out. Let's read the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, verses 35 to 45. And let's see what happened with James and John. I was there that day when James and John, the sons of Zebedee, walked up to Jesus. I could see something was on their minds. They called him teacher and asked him for a favor. We want you to do something for us, they said. Jesus looked at them kindly, as he always did, and asked, What do you want me to do for you? That's when they said something that shocked me. When you're in your glory in heaven, we want to sit next to you, one of us on your right and the other on your left. I couldn't believe my ears. Jesus had been teaching us about serving others, and here they were asking for special places of honor. Jesus didn't get angry, though. He just looked at them and said, You don't know what you're asking. Can you go through the same things I'm going to go through? Can you handle the challenges that are coming? James and John, so confident, replied, Yes, we can. Jesus nodded and said, You will face tough things like I will, but sitting at my right or left, that's not for me to decide. God has already prepared those places for someone else. When the rest of us, including myself, heard what James and John had asked, we were upset. How could they ask for something like that? We had all been following Jesus together, and now they wanted to be first? Jesus called us all together. He said, You know how in the world rulers like to show off their power and act like they're better than everyone? Well, that's not how it's supposed to be with you. If you want to be great... You need to serve others. If you want to be the most important, you need to put everyone else before yourself. Even I didn't come to be served, but to serve and to give my life to save many. It was one of those moments I would never forget. Jesus wasn't just telling us to serve. He was showing us what true greatness looks like. Oh, did you hear? Were you listening? One day, James and John, two of Jesus' friends, asked Jesus a big question. They wanted to sit next to him in heaven and be very special. But what did Jesus say? He said, if you want to be great, you need to help and serve others. So even though Jesus was God's son, he didn't come to be served by people. He came to serve. And that's how we should be too. If we want to be important, we should help everyone. So sometimes we think being great means being the boss, wearing a crown and telling people what to do. But Jesus says the greatest people are the ones who help others. They don't need a crown. They serve and love others. Well, so what did James and John ask Jesus for? To sit next to him in heaven. And did Jesus think this was a good idea? No way. 
<laughs> well, what did Jesus say was the way to be great? He said by serving and helping others. And how did Jesus show us how to serve? By helping and giving his life for others. Wow, you have the best answers ever. Let's play a game. I have a word search here. Can you help me find words that show kindness? Are you ready? Can you find a word? There's the word share. Great. You found the word share. How can we share with others? Oh, I can give some of my snacks to someone who doesn't have any. Great. Can you see another word? Oh, I see the word help. Wonderful. What do you do to help in your life? I can help my little brother or sister when they need something because I am the oldest kid in my family and I know lots of stuff. Wonderful. Can you see any other words? And there is the word love. Nice. You found such a great word. What are some ways to show love? I can give my family hugs and kisses. I can draw pictures for people to make them happy. That was fun. You found love, help, and share. But there's still more. Can you find them all? Oh, well, there is care. And listen, I almost missed that. Oh, there's friend. About clean, would that be like clean for someone? Wow, you have sharp eyes. Jesus would be impressed that you know so many words that show how to serve God. Let's pray and ask Jesus to show us to be good helpers and serve others. What do you think you would do this week? to show that you know how to serve. Dear Jesus, thank you for teaching us how to be great by helping others. Help us to always be kind, loving, and ready to serve just like you did. Amen. Amen.